Here at the Scan Studio, we produce a heap load of video content for our many YouTube channels, as well as web and social media content, events content and coverage, communications and training, and much more. So it's really important that we have the right equipment. And as workloads increase and turnaround times become even more demanding, the right computer hardware can make all the difference. So we're very excited to be having a PC upgrade for our editing suite, especially in a year that's seen huge leaps in performance power in the latest gen components. And we've been making videos about some of the components inside these systems throughout the year. So it's super exciting to be getting our very own in the studio so we can see just how much difference they are gonna make. Obviously, when choosing the right spec, we only had to turn to the expert 3XS team here at SCAN and tell them what we're going to be using the workstations for, and they were then able to tell us the specs that would perform best for us. Our main use here is video, image, and graphics editing in various apps from the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, and many of our projects require us to have multiple apps running at the same time. So CPU and RAM are very important. So what we've ended up with are four beasts, all powered by Intel's latest 13th gen CPU, specifically the 13900K flagship processor. Now, as we've talked about in other videos, these 13th gen CPUs have a combination of P and E cores, which should give us great performance in things like Adobe Premiere Pro. And its super fast core clock speed should be great for playback, even when using multi-file formats. Add this to the 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, and we should be flying. For our usage, the 13900K really is the best of everything right now, even better than some dedicated workstation CPUs that cost loads more. We've paired our 13900Ks with Asus ProArt Creator motherboards. These are relatively new and these are designed specifically for content creators, so they offer a super stable platform with great connectivity like 10 gig and 2.5 gig networking. Two super fast 40 gigabits per second Thunderbolt 4 ports for quick file transfer and creation first network software, which is optimized for creative workflows rather than gaming like most other motherboards. Basically, Asus did a full redesign of the motherboard, thinking about content creation workflows and configured all the things that are important to us. We then got two NVMe storage drives in each workstation, one to hold the OS and programs, and then the other for our local video files that we're working on. Then these get transferred over to our NAS once we finish a project. And last but very much not least, we chose one of the latest NVIDIA RTX 40 series GPUs. In fact, we actually have two systems with RTX 4080 and two with RTX 4090s. It's going to be really interesting to see just how much difference there is between the two in the real world. So, of course, we will be sure to make another video looking specifically at that. These are the Asus Tough models that we're using as they're designed specifically for reliability, which is really important to us. Now, the standard models as overclocking isn't really that important to us. In fact, it will likely just increase power usage and heat for very little benefit in our case. The RTX 40 series GPUs also offer built-in AV1 encoding, which we're going to make another video about, as it should be a game changer and absolutely essential for any content creation PC moving forward. NVIDIA states that RTX 4090 offers twice the AV1 performance of previous generation, which will make a huge difference in terms of time saving for us for things like exporting video content. It should also result in better looking content too. And one of the features we should be able to use to save us time and effort is NVIDIA Studio. Specifically, some of the features that RTX GPUs bring within Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop. There's also the NVIDIA Studio Driver, which is designed to be super compatible and stable. Again, an absolute no-brainer for a workstation. The last thing that you want is random crashes or compatibility issues when you're in the middle of a project. All of our new 3XS systems are also pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro. And as it's over a year old now and there's been quite a few updates, we thought it was time to make the switch and take advantage of the latest performance improvements and features. Aesthetically, these workstations have quite an industrial look, which I really like. The custom 3XS workstation case is designed to be super quiet and also provide ample filtered airflow throughout the front panel. And it also has useful I.O. too. Obviously, they don't feature RGB lighting or glass side panels like most of the systems that you'll see us film in here. But of course, 3XS do give the option of that if you wanted them to build you something more flashy. 
So we installed and set up our two 4080 systems today and gave them a quick whirl. Both of them were super easy and fast to get sorted. And once we downloaded our most used Adobe apps, we then did a couple of exports and playback tests. Firstly, we opened up an After Effects project that had previously been really slow to render and play back, taking almost 10 minutes on our previous system. The new system did it in just 2 minutes 32. We then exported the same project, the old system taking 3 minutes 26 and the new one flying through in 1 minute 41. Then we opened up a few projects in Premiere Pro which we've had opened and exported on our previous systems this morning to see what the speed increase was like. A PC build video that we had in edit, which is 28 minutes long, took 8 minutes and 10 seconds on the old system and just 3 minutes 48 on our new ones. And then another unboxing video, which is around 6 minutes long, took 1 minute 45 on our old system. The new one whizzed through the same export in just 47 seconds. Windows 11 Pro has also gone down well with the team. Now, some have been using Windows 11 at home for a little while, but as mentioned earlier, this is the first time that we've taken the leap here in the studio. In particular, we all seem to like the snap layouts, which were also improved in the recent update, as they help us when we need to have lots of windows and apps open, which is basically all of the time. The folder preview is also a nice feature as every five minutes we're looking for files. You of course get Microsoft Teams integration, which is a big help here, and other useful features of Auto HDR and multiple virtual desktops. Windows 11 actually has support for Intel ThreadDirector for better performance than in Windows 10, so we're looking forward to taking advantage of that one too. And on top of all the standard Windows 11 features, Pro actually has some extra features including bit locker device encryption, which is important for businesses that might have sensitive information, and group policy, which is basically just giving us more control over what the OS is doing and allows us to disable apps we don't want to use that could cause compatibility issues or use resources. So again, this is going to be super useful for us. And we also have the option for remote desktop connection, and this is great for us as it allows us to dial into our work PC from home or from any location to get access to files or even work on projects using the power of our workstation. We should have a great experience with this too, on top of the motherboard having 10 gig networking to go with our NAS and internal network. As mentioned earlier, we will be bringing you more benchmarking of these systems in the new year, but we couldn't wait to share our initial excitement with this upgrade. So please do let us know your thoughts on our chosen spec, or if you've got any tips for us using the new hardware and Windows 11 Pro. And of course, don't forget, if you're looking for a workstation configured specifically for you, then you can either customize your build on the 3XS site or get in touch with the team for some advice.